instead start creating rituals that help you expand start creating rituals that help you kind of show who you are um, and really start creating those rituals and tap into your intuition to create those rituals they don't have to be the same thing that you've used in the past you can start using new things to grow into love and balance uh, moving forward <laughs> Hey guys, it's Francisca and welcome. Today I am sharing some October tarot spreads for you. The theme for these tarot spreads are ravens, rituals, and harvesting. The first one I'm kind of excited about. Um, I just had the idea brew up yesterday for this one. Um, it's inspired by my brother-in-law who got the Kyle Gray's Ancestors um, angel oracle deck and he let me play around with it and I pulled a card and I pulled the wise one um, which the message was like dealing with your wis or finding wisdom in your current situation um, and it had some symbolism of the raven and so I got like really uh, interested in it I started kind of looking up what the raven meant and what the symbolization symbolization of the raven was and I found out that the raven symbolizes wisdom, um, healing, rebirthing, um, and really overcoming darker times. And so I thought that that would be um, something fun to make a tarot spread out of. So that's the first uh, tarot spread that I'm using, like how you can tap into your wisdom um, and the wisdom of your ancestors um, with the energy of the raven and what it symbolizes. The first tarot spread I'm going to share with you guys is a ritual tarot spread, like letting go of rituals that don't serve you anymore and what you kind of need to focus on. Um, and then the third tarot spread that I'm going to share with you guys is a harvesting tarot spread, like um, what is it that's ready to harvest now and what's going to help you preserve and protect yourself throughout the winter months. So. Um, as always, I am going to leave a link in the description box below so you can download the PDF um, with these tarot spreads and kind of uh, journal about the tarot spreads. So for the first spread, I will be using Kyle Gray's Angel Oracle um, deck, and I am going to be pulling three cards for this spread. Again, the raven symbolizes wisdom and the capacity to overcome darker times and rebirthing and a renewal of self and healing of self too. Um, because through rebirthing, we can heal old wounds, we can let them go. Um, so the three cards in this spread is how can I tap into um, the wisdom of the raven to help me overcome whatever life throws at me? Um, the second card in this spread is what area do I need help with in re being reborn or rebirthing or... Um, overcoming something and then the third card in the spread is how can I learn from the experience and wisdom of my elders ancestors um, spirit guides and angels um, yeah so let's get into it so the first card is how can I tap into the wisdom of the raven to help overcome <laughs> whatever life throws at me and the card is healing energy oh that's so fitting <laughs> the second card is um what do i need help with um or what area of my life do i need help with in being reborn or rebirthing or overcoming something so what area of my life listen deeply oh i love it okay and then the third card is um how can I access the wisdom and experience of my elders and ancestors, spirit guides, or angels? Here, do the work. Oh, there's two cards. Shit. Do the work and, oh, I love it when this happens, and harmony and resolution. I love it. Okay, so full description again of uh, whatever's in the guidebook is going to be in the um in the PDF and if you're on my newsletter then you get to download that so for the ritual spread it's a four card spread and so there's four questions in this spread and so the first question is what rituals no longer serve me the second one is what challenges do I need help with the most the third one is what will help me tap into balance and wisdom moving forward and then the fourth one is what rituals will help 
guide me into love and expansion. So first card is what rituals no longer serve me. Second card is um, what challenges do I need help with the most. Third card is what will help me tap into um, balance and wisdom moving forward. And then the fourth card is um, what rituals will help me expand in love. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. So the cards we pulled were what rituals no longer serve me. It's the Ace of Pentacles. Um, what challenges do I need help with the most? And it is the Seven of, of Wands. Um, what will help me tap into balance and wisdom moving forward? The High Priestess. And what rituals will help me grow in love? The Seven of Swords. Um, so I see a little theme occurring here. And the theme that I'm seeing occurring here is defensiveness and guardedness. Um, and so it feels like these um, are the things that you need to let go of. Defensiveness and guardedness. Um, and also um, the rituals that no longer serve you are those rituals that you used in the beginning. The ones that you used in the beginning to cultivate things. The ones that you used in the beginning to help you kind of get stable. Those are not rituals that you need anymore. Um, I'm really feeling that the rituals that you need now... Um, are more like you're past that stage not that you don't need to be stable stable not that you don't need financial security but you are past that stage like you're at a place where you can be a little bit more intuitive and use your intuition a little bit more tap into the intuition um, a little bit more tap into those things um, that feel right that um, your your inner wisdom is telling you to tap into. It's really about kind of using your intuition versus using that grounded, logical, stable place um, because you've got the stability. Um, so there is no need to feel like you have to defend yourself. There's no need to feel like people are gonna take things from you um, because when you're guarding things and when you're holding things close to yourself and when you're in this space of, not allowing people to see who you really are, not leading with your intuition, not leading with um, that stable, grounded person that you already are, then um, then you're creating rituals to protect yourself. Instead, start creating rituals that help you expand. Start creating rituals that help you kind of show who you are um, and really start creating those rituals and tap into your intuition to create those rituals. They don't have to be the same thing that you've used in the past. You can start using new things to grow into love and balance uh, moving forward. <laughs> So the last spread I'm sharing with you is the harvest spread. And it's all about harvesting, preserving, preparing, and celebrating. Um, so this is a four card spread. And the first card in the spread is um, what is ready to be harvested in my life? The second card in this spread is what do I need to preserve in my life? The third card is what will help me uh, prepare for winter or prepare for the coming months? And then the fourth card in the spread is how can I celebrate um, those things that I've harvested, the lessons in my life so far this year? So first card, um, what is ready to be harvested? Ooh, second card is um, what will help me prepare um, or what can I preserve? Or what do I need to preserve in my life? <laughs> the third card in the spread is what will help me prepare for winter? and or the coming months and the fourth card in the spread is what do I need to celebrate oh I love it okay so the first card in the spread was the harvest card what is ready to harvest in my life and that's integrate your knowing so I love it so I'm going to read a little bit of this uh, because I think that that's going to be fun so integrate your knowing essential meaning is introspective introspection finding your soul's purpose the benefit of spending time alone a thinker nurturing your spirit your innate inner knowing instinct intuition holism and the integration of many parts okay so that is what's ready to be harvested in your life um the second card is what do i need to preserve um in my life and that is what's your honest truth so you need to preserve what is your honest truth and that card um, the meaning for that card is 
total authenticity, transparency, a glorious unveiling of spirit, clear and compelling communication that comes from the heart, finding the key to abundance by finding what is true and right for your soul. So that's what you need to preserve. The third card is, is how can I prepare for the coming months? And that card was, magic happens when you most expect it. I love it. Okay, so um, yes, that is magic happens when you most expect it. And the essential meaning for that is a powerful and sacred creator, the potential to call your dreams into reality, the awakening of forgotten energies, the subtle shifts of your physical world as your mindset changes mysterious will of source the divine your subconscious mind finding and following the signs so you need to preserve your faith in that oh my god i love it okay and then the last card is what do i need to celebrate in my life and this card is rise i love this okay so you need to celebrate um that um, being ready to rise, rebirth, second chances, redo, new opportunities, stepping into your potential and announcement. So that's what you need to celebrate in your life. So I've really come to enjoy doing these tarot spread videos. Um, it is so fun creating these spreads and then sharing them with you guys and then doing them live with you on video. Um, nothing brings more joy to my heart than to hear how um, some of these videos or tarot spreads um, or readings resonate for you in your life. I also love to hear that people are buying oracle cards and oracle decks and tarot decks um, inspired by me. <laughs> that really is exciting to know and to hear. So I'm really um, excited to share this information with you guys and share tarot spreads with you. I love creating them. Um, but I also want to hear from you. So I am getting ready to start a new segment um, called Q&A Tarot Day. So I want to know what questions you have about the tarot. I want to know if you have any special requests for tarot spreads that I can create for you. Uh, so I'm going to leave a link in the description box below where you can submit questions to me about maybe even if you have a special request for a reading um i might even do that like a small reading for you um so yeah be sure to leave your questions um click on the link in get to that form so you can submit your questions for um upcoming episodes of q a tarot day that's it for this time until next time see you bye